Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand, this review is about Sayadri College of Engineering and Management which is based out of Mangalore and it is one of the autonomous institution, right? So that is the highlight, that is it, it, it is one of the two autonomous institute in Mangalore. The other one is uh, St. Joseph Engineering College, right? So Sayadri College of Engineering and uh, started in you know, 2007. So it's like a 15 year old college and it's affiliated with the VTU and autonomous college, right? and um, this is the you know detail about the NAC certification so it's uh, accredited with NAC A grade and uh, it has shown a very good placement uh, trends recently so I have made a detailed placement review video so talking about the college so it is uh, you know basically on the Bangalore, Na Bangalore National Highway in Mangalore district so on the banks of the river Netravati and it's a very beautiful campus so I have few pictures of the same so this is the main campus of Sahadri, which is in uh, Mangalore, right? And uh, these are some more of pictures of the college, you know, with respect to the open areas as well as the greeneries, right? So provide good infrastructure, hostel facilities and all those, but I'm not going to cover. So this is the uh, admission contact details in case you want to uh, call college, you know, for admission through management quota after watching this video. So this is the complete detail there. The different courses offered here are like, you know, computer science engineering. Then you also have a data science part of, you know, CSC specialization. There is also a cyber security, which is a good option. In, and there is an artificial intelligence and data science, AIDS branch. Then there is a regular ECE branch, electronics and communication and information science engineering, which are the very good options in this college. Mechanical engineering uh, is also available apart from that a new course which is a uh, robotics and automation is also part of college so on the very high level it has a decent you know 600 to 700 placements students get placed every year and it is as good as you know 130 students getting placed in one single company last year which is tcs nenza so detailed placement i will cover later you know of 2023 uh, coming directly to the fees part of it so uh, fees is basically you know dependent on the branch which you are opting for so computer science engineering as regular is the highest demand branch and 3.3 lakhs is the per annum management quota fees and please note this is the last year fee so you can expect 10 percent increase so this will become 3.5 lakhs so expect 10 percent increase in management quota fees from what is mentioned here so csc is 3.5 lakhs up around and come CS artificial intelligence and machine learning will be around 3.3 lakhs and then information science and engineering will be also like around 3.3 lakhs ECE will be around 2.3 to 2.4 lakhs per annum and mechanical engineering and robotics engineering are less demand and the fees will be around like you know 1.5 it will remain same because you know the demands of these branches are quite low and this is the only management quota fees and apart from that there will be one you know 30,000 rupees which will include your other fees and some 20,000 which will be skill, skill lab fees so total 50,000 per year you can add over these fees whatever mentioned so every year 50,000 will be more and these are you know uh, only related with the academics your hostel charges and transportation charges all those will be different and will be separate uh, similarly the career guidance training and the placement some charges will be there uh, as it done by every college so it will be different so these are high level and this is the breakup of that 20,000 I mentioned which will be other fees so within the other fees you have so many components like laboratory seminar hall industrial visits sports fee infrastructure development and so on so whatever is mentioned there plus 20,000 and 20,000 additional for skill lab fees will be there which will be applicable for all the courses including through kct or comet k or even through management quota so that's all a short update and thanks for watching and please do like and subscribe the channel to get similar important you know updates on all the colleges across you know karnataka take care